Hello there everyone, hi YouTubers, eBears. Uh, this is my sales small sales videos for the the month of September 2016. Usual stuff. Look at this. Take a look at this. Nintendo DS bundle of five games. I put that as a joke in an auction and look what has happened. Somebody took it for only 99 pence. Look. Well, that was nice for somebody. Right, the next thing. Sold this ladies Hobbs London genuine leather belt. Bought it for six. I think I paid four pound. I got sixteen fifty back on that one. Usual bottle opener and a pair of Nike women's high top. Paid six quid. Got twenty pound back on that one. Um, Timberland paid I think I paid about eight quid and managed to sell it for twenty one twenty there. Next item is a wooden kind of carving of a Maasai Mar Mari warrior and I put that as an auction. So that went for 99 pence. I put a stuck up post in the package. I know it's going to be go for something silly, so I put put a PNP on there. Sometimes I do this thing just to boost up my channel rating or boost up your uh, feedback. So that's what I do it. I just deliberately put something up for auction so it goes up. Uh, so you get feedback plus boost your channel rating up. That's a, that's that's the only good thing. Here we are. I usually sell loads of this uh, baseball cap again. That was a really good set. Nike Air Force um, shoes. Uh, Black Mamba paid seven quid and managed to sell it for twenty three ninety five. That was a good sell there. Well, Air Force One always tend to sell well. Now, a cheese cutting board ceramic. I had it for that for a long time. So one for six quid. That was quite good. Uh, another game here. And battlefield. Now, another another silly thing. Look, Toshiba three band radio functions worked well. Everything. Now I decided again. I decided to put an auction. And he went for ninety nine pence. I could easily got. 14 15 pound, but I decided to do that rather than sometimes I like doing this sort of thing, just put it on delivery in auction so it attracts more, more viewers, more, more basically customers. So I, I, I see it like this if I were to advertise in an off, offline sort of uh, business, you have to pay money for the newspapers, ad, this ad, that ad. So Basically what I'm doing is compensating, <laughs> putting things in auction, getting more extra people coming in. And again there's, again last month was a bit silly month, again I put this uh, a military hat. I could easily get £14 out of it. Now that's what I got, 99 pence. That was great again, beautiful. Uh, Reebok Classic. About twenty three ninety six. Um, Vans light green of the wall. Yeah, again eleven ninety six paid uh, four pound. As you can see, this is this is quite interesting. If if any of you who go to cardboard sale or charity shop, 
And if you see a baseball bat, oh, well, sorry, baseball cap with an angry eye. Right. Angry eye, sort of like eyes. Grab that. Well, it is, is street is watching. It's very popular. And here we are. I got Lord of the Rings fridge magnet and another pair of Nike toddlers. Paid two quid, got ten quid back. Um, some games. Um, now I've gone there. Pin badge. Van pair of vans there. Another pin badge. BBC Children in Need. Charity thing there. Again, another pin badge. Now, this is quite interesting. This absolute vodka cover, plastic cover bottle. I paid 50p. Now, look how much I managed to sell it for 15.95. So, whenever you see a, a plastic vodka absolute vodka bottle cover, it's not a real vodka bottle, but it's a ca cover. Grab it. You know you got you are going to sell it, so just grab this one. Um, Transformers. About fifteen ninety five. I think I paid four quid for that one, and it was international global shipping for when you went through. Blop it, if you ever find blop it, it's always, you know, you can get, straight away you can sell them, so it's no problem, but you got to get the right one, like this one's extreme two, twist. Black, if you can get black, blue, or pink, goes like hotcake. Um, um, now this is very interesting. Uh, m and dispenser, sweet dispenser, um, Cadbury Swiss dispenser. Very interesting article. The problem was I sent it by Korea. My harm is that they managed to uh, sort of crack it on the way to the, the customer. So I had to return the customer, refund the customer straight away. And luckily Hammers paid me back. So that was quite good. Hammers paid my paid me, refund me, and I refund the customer. But that was annoying because you sent something, there were, uh, it was a present somebody bought and just to, for the courier service to go and smash it, or somebody crack it. That was heartbreaking. Again, uh, another baseball cup, and a uh, mouse mat, a few books, um, as you can see, I do sometimes do a stupid auction, 99p auction. I had a couple of old cameras, vintage camera. Your cameras, so I just got rid of those. Again, 99 pence, 319 shipping. Um, Barbie makeup bag. I was, I was hanging this for a long, long time. And then I put it on auction deliberately just to get rid of it. So again, 99 pence, so somebody made a good use of it, there you are. A uh, couple of fridge magnets. Yeah, they're good. I picked, I picked a lot up for 8 quid and I trip quadrupled my money back and that was once. Again, look, I keep selling these new era baseball caps. So whenever you see a basketball player, just grab them. 
Now, the Doctor Who, again, I put in auctions. So last month I did a lot of auctions, delivered auctions. Just to boost up a few bits of it, bits of, get rid of my, couple of my stuff and boost my sales. Now this is really surprising me, this uh, Vision Care, Vision Express, um, contract, contract lens solution. I was surprised. I picked them up for 50p each, I think, and I managed to get 17.95 for four. That was very brilliant. And again, look, another another baseball cap. Now I don't I kind of stay away from DVDs and CDs now on this I think some of them just waste of time really. Now I managed to sell a pair of Levi's 505, 695, I paid four quid. And the next this is very interesting. This is now I'm sure you guys the some of you are old enough to remember the old bricky style telephone, the Yuppies, 1980s, Motorola, cell phone, the Yuppies used to have them. Now I picked this one up, hard to believe, for 7 quid. And I managed to get, I was asking for 50 something and the guy paid I took the best offer on this 45. That was excellent. And a pair of Dr. Martins. Toddler's Dr. Martin paid six quid. Managed to get 25 and 95 there. Now, this item was a bit silly because I paid I think I paid too much for it. I paid 15 quid and I managed to get 26.95. It wasn't worth it. I tried selling at 35 but it never worked so then I reduced it so it went for 26.95. That was quite good so I got my money back. I guess. Take me portable CD player, compact disc player. Yeah, I bought that for uh, 4 quid and I managed to get 13.95 out of it because they had a, this one had uh, a uh, a mechanical mechanism was missing, so, so I just reduced the price and it went. So a couple of CDs here. Um, Meccano Bucket Plastic Lego Construction Set. Paid £6 and I got £23.95 back on that one. Again, as you can see, another 59.50 New Era cut. Again, I stick to this price of 12.95, and I tend to see them go fly off the wall. I recently reduced it, put on a sell a bit, pound, still flying, so I'm going to have to go back to 12.95. There you are, I can see again 59.50. So I'm kind of thinking this is my niche. Oh, this is quite interesting. Hobbs leather woman's handbag, quite large one there. Uh, paid seven pound, and I managed to get twenty four ninety five. And I sell a lot of these key whistle key ring things. You know, they're quite popular. Um, oh, this is quite interesting. I had a bundle of uh, Simpson flash toys. I put on auction. It never sold. For 99p, it never sold. So I got fed up with it, I took it off the auction, and then I relisted it, and I put... Uh, that is what I got after relisting at 16.95. So good thing I never put it in the, the auction. Anyway, you went uh, international buyer, I think, yeah. There you go. Couple of board games. Again, the whistle key. Now this is another military cap, vintage military police cap. I should have gone 14, 15 quid for it. Now I got 120 after putting in an auction.
like quote force pay seven quid got twenty four ninety five out again I got uh, another cap baseball cap a uh, ladies of sub London ladies belt twelve ninety five paid four quid Again, as you can see, I've got another 5950 here, a baseball cap. And that wraps up the this month's, last month's, what I managed to sell. I think I sold about 75 items last month. Um, so that was quite good. But unfortunately, I could have made more. But because I put them stupidly on auction, some of this stuff sold for silly money. Um, so as you can see, if you're determined and you work hard at it, you can make money in eBay. It all depends what you want to sell and how you have to learn how eBay works and how customer mindset works. And what you're getting good at. It looks like my, I'm sort of like now, in the stage where I'm getting quite good at selling baseball caps and clothes so I'm concentrating more on clothes and I'm moving away from the little things you know of year 199 and 299 I'm going to have to concentrate on a larger scale items so last one this is what I've ladies and gentlemen I've taken and that red red uh, amount shows you I had to re refund one or two items. So as you can see, I'm only doing part time. So you can you can actually make money if you're serious. And plus, if you know what you're doing. Here are my feedbacks. Okay, I'm, I'm at present time I am I am receiving fantastic reviews you know brilliant um, I hope I can keep it up thank you so much for everybody buying from me and giving all these good reviews as some of these these ones now this it's all good 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 reviews it's so one interesting one I want to show you. It's very interesting here. Um, description accurate, but the photos are not clear as to how the blue cap is. Now, if you say the description is accurate, and then you say turn around and say the cap is the blue cap is is not. It's not the right color. I mean, I'm surprised. Now, if, you, if I show you the items, there we go. Now, how good is the photo in there? Take a look at the photo. Now, I describe that as a blue camouflage. Absolutely brilliant photo, professionally taken. Like, you know, uh, and, you, and you can always zoom in and see, and yet this comment really struck me because it just did not make any sense to me if you say my description is accurate then you complain about the color and now all you needed to do is zoom it in and you know the perfect color of this I have recently changed my trading name so I'm trying still to find figure a good name for my eBay store I'm working on it. Thank you so much for watching this video, all of my other videos. I hope some of these videos are inspiring you. And if you are thinking of coming into eBay or selling on eBay, yeah, get on with it. And if you have any other questions or you want to know how to do or what to do, how to get going, please put on the comment section 
and please kindly smash the like button and subscribe button and please comment on my videos if you're interested watching another channel I have please log in to the same guy I had another channel well over nine and a half thousand subscribers please check it out it's called Indian restaurant cooking Indian restaurant cooking I'll put that on the description so you can check it out please make sure you hit the like button subscribe to smash it and please help me to grow this channel suggest anything I want to do different Thank you so much.